What is up everyone? Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we have a tier list for you guys and the previous video that we did a tier list on did fairly well and there was a little bit of back and forth with people who thought should be in certain places when we did the GOAT men's tier list and a lot of people seem to have liked that. So today we are going to do another tier list but only it's about rackets. So you can see some rackets on, on the bottom of the screen here. It's not about what racket is best, it's actually about what paint job is best. So a lot of people love how rackets look. Who doesn't love a good paint job? So today we're gonna to be talking about what I think, and obviously what I wanna know what you guys have to say in the comments after what the best paint job of the year is. So the way I did it was I have all of the major rackets from all of the brands with their most recent paint job. So the tier list is technically called racket paint jobs of 2023, or sorry, of 2022. But for example, the V-Core, I put the new V-Core paint job in here or the new Dunlop bracket that's coming out, the FX, I believe it's called. Uh, I put that new paint job in here too. So if I had a new paint job, I use the new one that's gonna come out but yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So with the first rack on the list, we have the one and only Bablot Pure Strike that feels like has never been updated in like forever. So to show the rackets to you guys, I actually opened up tabs and here we go. So mm, it's a solid paint job. Nothing super special though. A lot of white going on. I would say that a safe spot for this one is like A tier. So we'll throw it in A tier. Also, I want to apologize too for some of the rackets, like the photos, like I could only get certain ones to throw up on here. So them, some of them look a little zoomed in, but it's the best I could do. Next, we have the Wilson Ultra. So let's, that this is the new paint job for the Ultra. I mean, it's okay. It looks kind of cheap in my opinion though. Um, the, Wilson's kind of going with that kind of weird, I, I don't know, kind of looks like magnetic-y? I don't know. I don't know, it's just it's just kind of like blah. I think, I think that's a little bit of a, a C tier for me. So we gotta close out the Pure Strike, close out the Ultra. Next we have the Selenko Whiteout. This racket is sexy love this racket um this for me this goes into actually s tier just because it, it's it's so nice it's so all the clean white look something about clean white rackets they they, they look really good especially if they have a little bit of print on them i love that next i believe we have the technifiber tempo ega racket so the, I've never demoed this racket, but apparently this racket is just going off the hook. People love it. The paint job's another white looking racket. Um, I mean, it looks pretty solid to me. It doesn't look as clean as the Selenko Whiteout does. So that's why I'm gonna throw it into A tier. So next we have the Head Radical. Mm, very, there's a lot going on here for sure. Um, I feel like you either love this one or you don't. And I don't know where I stand to be honest. It's it's a lot, there's a lot going on. The new Radical that's coming out, which some people may have seen, I could have put that one on here, but I didn't feel like a lot of people knew what it looked like yet. So I'm, that's why I stuck with the old one. I'm gonna go with B tier on this one just because it's it's just kind of all right, you know? It's, it, it's just all right. Um, <clears throat> next, we got the Yonex, uh, right here, Yonex V-Core Pro. And I mean, it's okay. There's a lot going on here, a lot of different colors. Um, I've hit with this racket briefly once. I'm also gonna, I don't know, I think this might be a C tier. Sorry guys, if you guys love the V-Core Pro paint job, it's just it's just not it. I don't know. It just looks a little blah, it looks swampy if you know what I mean. So then we got the Yonex 
new e-zone you guys gave me a bunch of crap for not being able to get this demo because i demoed the old one dang you guys really were going off on me in the comments there uh i tried so this is the one that you guys wanted me to demo but i couldn't get it very nice paint job in my opinion um it's kind of looks like the ultra but way better but then kind of has the vigor pro blood but not as terrible as that so it's definitely clean it's definitely looking a little sleek i would throw this one into a tier it's on the cusp between high B, low A, but it's it's a solid, solid paint job. All right, so next we have the Head Gravity, the old one. Another rock and I maybe could have thrown into the mix for the new paint job, but I feel like not enough people have seen it, so they would have been like, what racket is that? So I'll talk about the new Head Gravity paint job after. So next we have the Head Gravity Pro, that is right here. The two-faced design. So originally when they came out with it, it was like blue and red. And then now this new, well not the new one, but the old new one is kind of blue and green. It's not bad, it's solid, it's, it's not terrible. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I'd say it's a high B for me. Just not, not amazing, but doesn't look bad. So let me tell you, the new gravity paint job, that is a beautiful looking racket. When you guys see that come on the market, I've seen some photos of that and that is probably the nicest paint job I've ever seen. It's like platinum and has a little bit of black, I think, in the throat area. But wow, I want to play with that racket just because of how it looks. Let me tell you that. So that racket, if I had it on here, that would be like on the God tier. I don't even have a God tier for the slicks because I don't really believe in a God tier for racket paint jobs just because like a racket can only look so good if you know what I mean. So next rack we have is the Wilson Blade. I, when this came out, I thought it looked really nice and really cool. Um, and it does look really cool, but I don't know it's kind of grown on me in the sense that I don't like it so like the opposite of growing on me growing on me in a bad way um, so I think for me it could have been an S but now it's gonna be like middle of the line a here so now we're on to the new Babylon pure arrow this racket is a good upgrade from the paint job of the old one the old one was just like Man, it like when you looked at the old one, it was like, okay, it's a pure arrow. Now this one looks like feisty and like, uh, like you know what I mean? Like this racket looks like it's a force to be reckoned with, and the paint job is glossy now, which I give Babylon like double thumbs up. Good job, Babylon, and I like it. I've played with it, as you guys know, so I think I will give it a high A tier, the highest A tier possible. It's not S tier, but it's definitely a very solid paint job. So go Babylon, good work. Next we have the ooh, the one and only Wilson Pro Staff. Y'all know how I feel about these cool, sleek rackets. You already know where this one's gonna go. It's gonna go in S tier. You cannot go wrong with the Pro Staff. It's always S tier, what do you mean? Like, if somebody wants to tell me the Pro Staff looks ugly, like, we're done. Not talking to you like pro staffs are beautiful frames like you cannot go wrong with pro staff um all of the pro staffs have always looked good in my opinion the suit and tie one looked nice the red and black one uh when roger first switched over to the 97 square head was awesome loved that one the only one i didn't really love was the red on the countervail one that one was well, counter rail across the board was pretty bad for all Wilson Rackets, let's just say that for the looks. But yeah, Wilson Pro Staff, definitely S tier. Get out of here if you disagree. Um, oh, still got some, gotta close out these tabs. Next we have the Selenko Blackout. This racket in general has flown under the radar. It's another racket that is all black and is all one color, which I said I like. However, this one just looks funky. It looks like a little forced. Like you have you have the gloss up here, and then it looks like matte down here, and then the grip kind of looks weird. And then in the throat, it kind of looks like cheap. 
I don't know though. People seem to like this racket. I mean, it's on Tennis Warehouse now. People play with it. I just, I don't know. Compared to the Pro Staff All Black look, guys, I know I'm kind of going against what I just said, but I think this is a D tier. I don't think it looks really good. Um, like you have the perfect black racket, all black with the Pro Staff, and then you have the all black Slinko racket. It's just like, it's just like here and then here. You know what I mean? So we got to stick with D tier on that one. All right. So we got, we're about halfway there, I'd say. So now we have the Dunlop CX 200 racket. This racket comes in a couple variations. They got the 98, they got the 100, I think. And then I think that's it. They might have like a 108 or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not that um knowledgeable about dunlop rackets however i really want to try the cx line i've not yet tried it that's on the list for me but the paint job that's what we're looking at right now mm, i'd say this is an a tier quality um i i, I like it. it it looks pretty solid it's nothing like too special but it's not like it's better than the Radical and the Gravity and the Ultra and the B-Core Pro, in my opinion. So that's why it goes in A tier. Next, we have the one and only Extreme Tour new version. Now, I'm interested to see what you guys think about this if you haven't seen it. I actually think this racket looks really nice. Um, a lot of people actually hate the Extremes paint jobs throughout all the years they think it looks stupid and funny with the yellow and like it's bad i will say not the old extreme but the one when berrettini was coming on the scene it was all yellow like really bright yellow all around that one wasn't very nice i'll tell you that but other than that i think this paint job is actually really solid i hit with it felt good in the hands looks nice once again, I'm not judging it on how the racket plays, but I'm, I, I think this is, I think this is S tier guys. Like I'm a little bit biased because I play with an extreme tour, but I don't play with this one. I play with the old one and the old one would not be S tier. I'll tell you that the old one is not an S tier paint job. The one that I play with. So you can disagree with me. That's okay. I just think it looks cool. Uh, next we have the head instinct. I mean, mm, the only reason I put this one on is I believe that some people still use this racket. I could have put the Wilson Burn on too, but like that racket is hot trash. I'm sorry. It's terrible. And um, this Head Instinct is borderline hot trash too, Like, but some people use it so, and they updated the paint job, so I thought I would throw it on here. So... It's actually not that bad of a paint job, in my opinion. I think the racket is terrible, but the paint job itself could could probably be B tier, high B tier. I think it's actually, I would probably play with that paint job before the radical paint job. Um, I actually don't think it looks too bad. Somebody, If somebody really wanted to pull me into the low A tier, I could do it, but mm, we'll keep it in B tier. It's safe there. Next, we have the Head Prestige 2022. Let me guys tell you this. I will say that the old Prestige, the red all around, like the previous one, that was a great looking racket. That was one of the best rackets looking for me ever. And they kind of went black, sorry, they kind of went back to that black look. I don't like the black Prestige look. Like, it just looks like a lot is going on here, kind of, if you know what I mean. Like, they're trying to be simple, but, like, yet yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm not a fan of this right here. I do not like, I do not like that. I do not like the lettering on the new head rackets. Um, and I play with head rackets, so that's saying something. I don't like how they do that. However... The Prestige is a Prestige. Um, I'll go with a B tier. It's not a great looking racket, in my opinion. So, another head racket done. We got the head speed up next. Now, I demoed this racket, as you guys know. Uh, 
it's it is solid overall but they have that lettering on the side again man all of the head rackets have that and the only rackets in my opinion that get by that kind of can tune out the lettering are the new extreme and the new head speed the black and white looks really nice i will give them that so i will put it in a tier probably pretty high a tier actually um but the lettering is what's keeping it away from s tier come on head like that lettering looks terrible all right so next we have this new prince racket which apparently is like the greatest racket ever people love the 95 people would die for the 98 and apparently the 100 is pretty good too so this racket's actually on my list to try but like Something about Prince Rackets in 2022, 2023, give me the vibes. It's just not it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You're not cool if you play with a Prince Racket. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, nothing towards Prince players that play with Prince. But, like, Wilson is, like, iPhone and, like, Google Pixels and Samsung Galaxies are, like, head and babble lot. Like, that's, like, the cool stuff. And if you play with a Prince, it's, like, you... It's like you don't have one of those, you know? I'm not saying I don't like the paint job because I think the paint job's actually pretty nice, but I don't know. That's why I think this, those Prince Racket these days, like, don't get that much. The paint job's high C tier. Let's just, let's just be honest. I mean, come on, uh, it's okay. But yeah, let's talk about that the Prince Racket for a sec. I, I went on a little bit of tangent there and let's continue it. Um, I don't know, like, when you go on the Tennis Warehouse racket reviews for the 98 for that racket, I don't even know what it's called. See, like, that's what I mean, like, it's in my browser, Prince AT, like, I don't even know what it's called, and, like, I'm very good with rackets, so, like, their marketing, it's got to step up, like, they want to get people to be using their rackets, like Wilson and Head and Bablot do, and, like, Apple does, how I compared it to Apple phones and Samsung and Google phones, like, Gotta step up the marketing prints um, yeah I just I just couldn't see myself ever playing with that racket even though it kind of fits into my spec the 98 does but I mean back to the paint job paint job's not horrible but it's definitely not great um, I don't know what they were trying to do there it's it looks okay that's why it's going in high C tier so that's C tier. Now we have a racket that is going to go to the S tier. If you guys haven't seen this paint job, it is nice. This is the Yonix V Core 2023, folks. This is awesome. If you have a problem with it, then I don't know what's wrong with you because that is a great looking racket right there. And I love it. So that's why it's going into S tier. I didn't really, I mean, sorry, I did a review on the old Yonix V-Core 98 and it was solid, but there was a couple things that I didn't really love about it. I really hope that Yonix looks good or fe and feels good in the hand because I would switch to that racket because that paint job is nice. Not saying that I'd switch to a racket because of the paint job, but you guys know what I mean. Um, next we have the Head Boom. I demoed this racket too. I'd say this is a fair B, a high B tier, high B tier. We'll go with high B tier. It's not terrible, um, but uh, the color scheme is okay, but it's that stinking lettering, guys. Look at that. What is going on there? Like, what are they doing? Like, I don't like that. It's not a good look. Um, and it probably would be A tier if they got rid of the lettering, like I said about their other rackets. Like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. So, B tier for the head boom. Next, we have the Dunlop FX new racket. And that is going in A tier. Because it looks cool, man. That's cool blue. Like... How can you not like that? That's coming out at the start of 2023, right around when the new V-Core is coming out. And that's cool racket. Like that goes in A tier. Um, it looks better than all of the other blue rackets, in my opinion, except the E-Zone. Like, I don't even know what you consider the boom, some sort of turquoise, but it's better than that. It's better than the Gravity. It's better than the Instinct, better than the Ultra. And it's 
yeah, like it's better than all those kind of bluish, cooler colors. So, gotta go in A tier, man. I'm not saying the racket would feel great because I don't think I would like that racket at all, but the paint job is good. All right, folks, we're coming down to the last four here. We have the, what is this called? Uh, Dunlop SX, I believe. And this racket is, is not that bad. It kind of looks like they copied the old Pure Arrow, but I actually think it kind of looks better than that, the old Pure Arrow. I like how they kind of separated the black from the yellow, but it's not incredible. I don't, that's the throat kind of looks funny. It looks funny. Um, so, I mean, that's what that racket looks like. It's nothing special. I think it's a nice, actually, mm, folks, I'm going to make a little switch. I think the Dunlop is a nice looking racket, but it's going to go high B tier actually, because I actually think I like the, what do you call it? I can't move that over for some reason. I I like the SX more than the the the, the, the FX. So that one's gonna go there. And so I gotta try and move that. There we go. Because I think I mean it's very good. The the blue Dunlop one. So I have to. I don't. I just hyped it up a lot. But then I realized that I like the SX one more than the FX. So sorry for that confusion. Next we have the Technofiber T fight. ISO 305 currently being used by the one and only Daniil Medvedev, at least being endorsed. No, it does go into S tier though because it's a really nice friggin' racket. Uh, I love that white and the touch of the blue and the touch of the red and the touch of the black. And they have that nice little lettering over here. Nice racket, man. The white rackets are getting me right now. Um, so yeah. Nice, nice, nice frame. Haven't hit with it. It's on my list though. I tried to demo it months ago, but they had a back order from Tennis Warehouse and I could never get it. So yeah, S tier for that racket. Oh, this is gonna be a bad one, folks. It's gonna be a bad one. Um, oh, I didn't even go into it because it's not even important. So the Prince Twist Power. Oh God, oh boy, this is a bad one, folks. This racket gets some great reviews on Tennis Warehouse, let me tell you that, but the racket itself, are you kidding me? What is this? What is this down here? Like, what? What is going on? Nobody's ever going to buy that racket because of how terrible it looks. What a joke. That's D tier. That's like, okay, the Slingo Blackout was bad. This is like all the way down here. Like, what is happening? Brutal. Terrible paint job. So, yikes. I'm just gonna forget about that one. I don't even wanna talk about that one. Uh, Wilson Clash, last one. Wilson Clash, folks. The first paint job looked, didn't look great, but this one's way better. So, good job, Wilson. You cleaned it up a bit. It's solid, nothing too special. Eh, I would say it's it's high B tier, right in between kind of the head boom area right here. Um, yeah. So, everybody, what do we think about this tier list? Do we agree with how it looks? Um, I'm sure you all are going to come in and say, look, you forgot this rocket. And I probably did forget a couple of rockets. Um, but this is this is what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got lots of content coming. Chasing 13, racket stuff, shoe stuff, reviews, tips and tricks, of course, my college career, all of it. Like and subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And we will catch you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed the tier list.